Hello, <clears throat> welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be doing the completion review of this here. This is an image from Heaven and Earth Designs called Friends Forever by Oleg Ger Gavrilov. <clears throat> so I did this using my spare round drills and it's about 84.3 by 59.572. If I did the drills as point two eight one so the actual like <clears throat> it's this is a cross stitch heaven and earth designs does a cross stitch pattern i think the original cross stitch pattern was 300 by 212 and yeah so this thing had 90 colors i used my spare round drills for this um i thought the rendering was good um uh, the symbols it's like not applicable because i didn't really have a canvas i, I did printed paper and then I taped type, um, put transparency paper over it. And the drills were from my stash. I did run out of some of the colors since pretty much every single, since I pretty much did this with my stash, I didn't buy any. Um, I think Jeanette's had sent me a couple of the colors I didn't have of, but <clears throat> I ran out of a couple of the DMCs and I didn't have any of that leftover so I did a lot of DMC substitutions so I don't know if the bottom because that's the part I did at the end might look a little bit worse because of that but I don't know it looked okay for me um, and I took 52 hours and 34 minutes to complete this over 18 days so Do I have everything on screen? There it is. So because I did this with my round drills, you can see the grid line in the back because I did do, um, you know, this is the Heaven and Earth Designs pattern and you can see the grid lines on the back. On camera, it looks it, like, it's it actually looks much better in person than it does on camera. It looks a little bit um, washed out on camera for whatever reason. Maybe I have too much light. I don't know. It could just be my playback and this actually looks much better on video. <laughs> I can't tell. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really, really nice. There were portions where I thought I was, like, the color, like, I'm serious, I ran out of a lot of colors. So, like, towards the end here, I was pondering, is the reason this a little bit too light was because I did a substitution? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, but I thought it turned out, I thought it turned out pretty nice. If... Oh, well, I turned off all my lights and it still looks... So... I can't tell, like I said, this, I don't know if just my playback screen just doesn't look as nice, but... I think it turned out really nice. Here. It's actually pretty detailed. I was actually surprised with the 90 colors that I think I even needed 90 colors. And this actually turned out much darker than I thought it would. So the original reason I got this pattern was I thought the image was light colored and my original plan was to do this. I already had the canvas box. I was gonna do it with, you know, canvas that I got from AliExpress that had the round, see, there. So I thought <clears throat> you were gonna be able to see the white background of this. So I purposely got something light colored, thinking that's how it was gonna go.
but instead I printed it out. If you, I did do that on camera. I printed it out and I taped transparency um, paper. So on the back is the pattern from pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs. And yeah, I put transparency paper on it. So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna cut out the pattern from the I'm going to cut out the pattern. Actually, just start on this side so that at least you won't see the black grid line on the back. Because I, I have it on clear transparency. So if I'm able to cut it out. You won't see the grid line. It's actually kind of hard to see where I'm supposed to cut it because <laughs> take it out because it's like clear. So I don't know, so my plan is to put this on top of the printed picture, which I actually did already put together. I was going to do it on camera, but I just knew I was going to not do it well if I was doing it on camera, so I was like, I'm just going to do it off camera. It actually took me a lot longer. I actually meant for this video to be up last week, I just ran out of time and it just didn't get, I just didn't finish it. So, but after printing out the picture and putting it together, the size that this diamond painting is, I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. I might just be like, I'm just going to put it on a white or a black background and whichever looks better, that's what I'll use. Wondering if it'll be easier if I turn it around. Well, I guess we'll see how well the the, the drills are stuck. See, that looks really nice, the background.
Okay, I think I know what I was doing. <laughs> Okay, slowly, slowly taking off the paper.
cut. So I taped I taped the transparency on with some overlap. You I I did actually try not to have any overlap so that um, I wouldn't have to do this much cutting. But when I when I put together big pieces of transparency paper, what would end up happening is that I needed some um, thing to hold on to the thing. Otherwise, when the transparency paper would like jut up. I don't know if that's just, like it would like when I was drilling there would be points where the transparency paper would go up and it was a lot harder to down and paint. So I don't know if this is easier or harder than just doing it on the blank canvas but and then using pattern keeper I actually still think it's easier you don't have to count because you don't have to count and counting um Counting squares is actually a lot harder than you think. <laughs> so I give props to the people who do who do um, cross stitch, the counted cross stitch, because that stuff is not easy. Okay, how this? So yeah, originally the um, pattern keeper had it, you know, like these. Why is my stuff not there? And that's how I diamond painted the cross stitch pattern. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tape, add some tape, if I could tell where I need to add the tape. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm actually adding tape to where it needs to be because I can't see. It's, it's too clear. I guess that's a good thing.
So if you're like, what in the world are you talking about transparency paper? Like, I'm like, where did I put it? <laughs> so, found it. <laughs> Transparency paper I got. I got some of this here. Um, this was for laser printers. Um, but I got some of this because I was going to do the Heaven and Earth Designs, how um, Diamond Painting Between the Lines was doing it. And I decided not to go that route just because I had problems printing on the transparency paper. And that's when I started printing directly on just regular paper. Um, and laminating it. For the route, and then I put double-sided tape. From, for the rounds though, I didn't want to print it because as you saw before I cut it out, you can see the grid line behind, you can see this grid line behind the pattern, I mean the drills. So hence why I decided to print it out and then put something clear. I actually thought of using cellophane, but I wasn't sure it would be strong enough. Oop, I have no more tape. And I mean like the cellophane that you use to wrap gift, gift baskets. Like cellophane that you use to wrap gift baskets. Um, but I wasn't sure if it would be strong enough to hold the drills. And I already had the I already had the transparency paper, so I decided to try it this way. that you wouldn't see the background. So so there I took off the pattern. You can see the pattern of my desk. And I do have some like black and white paper here, so maybe you could see it how it would look if you put black paper versus white paper behind it. Huh. Huh. I actually think it looks better with the black paper behind it. If I were to go that route and just put, because other, like, you could get like, Yeah, I think just because of how dark this ended up being, I think it looks better with the black paper behind it. But, and that's how I probably would go. I would get a solid color and put it behind it. It's better than the pattern and the grid lines behind it, I think. But, I went and printed the picture. Um, yes, it doesn't look that great. I don't know if I'm gonna do this again. It was really hard to put this together. So what I ended up doing was, um, so if you have like pattern keeper here, so here's the pattern, this one. Oops, I didn't need to go into there. 
but but in here in here there's if you click that here you could see the view mock-up and that's what the mock-up looks like so I took a screenshot of that and for like Android devices you just press the two at least for this one you just press the two um, buttons here I think or wait at some point it takes a screenshot And, or go look up your device and see how it takes a screenshot. So I took that screenshot. And there, I, and then I cropped it to the, just to have the picture. And then I measured this. I measured the pattern and then I printed it, you know, the same exact height. And I, I changed my thing dimensions to centimeters because it's just, a, it's actually easier to measure in centimeters because each of the little tick marks are just one tenth as opposed to one sixteenth because inches is weird. Um, and then I printed the picture, I think, the right size. Um, it was, and I had, when I printed this thing, It printed it you know, like that with multiple pieces of paper and then I had to cut it out and put them together and it was not easy I did not I, I was like nope the next time I'm, I'm not going to do bother printing out and yes it looks very pixelated because it's a blown-up picture of a picture that was like yay big um, but I'm not going to do that again. That was just way, way, way too much effort to put them together. <laughs> and I probably wasted a lot of um, ink um, or toner. So, and I probably messed up a little bit. I don't know. But I figure, hey, if I print out the picture and I put it on top, <laughs> will that be better? So, actually it doesn't look half bad. Yeah, I think. So that's what I was planning to do put it on top of its picture. First off, I'm gonna cut the bottom here. Um, it actually ends up being pretty close. So this is on, um, the background is two 18 by 24 inch um, pieces of black paper here. So this is 24 by 36 inches, um, at least the with the whole thing here. So, and I was planning to frame it. I have the frame right next to me, but I have to cut off the transparency.
I apparently have to press harder when it's <laughs> transparency. Or I need to get a new blade. One of them. Probably can't even tell what I'm cutting off because it's clear. But yeah, you, you can obviously see that when you're using rounds, you can see the background. But can you tell that I did all the weird DMC substitutions? I'm serious. Like, there was a point, like, I was like, uh, this is, doesn't even match, but it's close enough, because that's all I had. I might just cut this with scissors. But somehow finished it with just what I had, which I'm actually happy with. I might do that for my next square instead of like buying stuff. I'll just be like, well, I'll start out with the right one. And then in the end, I'll just be like, I'm just going to... Use what I have. Because I've been buying the drills if I don't have enough of it. I don't know if my rotary cutter is meant to be cutting plastic. Maybe that's where it's not doing as good of a job. tape on this thing. But yeah, I think next time I'm just going to put it on black or white paper and be done with it. Well, I only have the black paper in big 
and a big size. So it might just be on black just because it's easier. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do, no, I need, I have a lot of, yeah, we'll see. Maybe it'll just depend on the down painting, whether I use black or white paper. like the color scheme. Okay. Okay, so there is my round drilled diamond painting now that I put the background on it. And I think hey, it actually it actually did work. <laughs> but like I said, I think the next time I'm just gonna go for put it on black or white and move on with that because putting together, printing out the picture and putting taping that to or um gluing that to I glued because I figured the glue, I would be able to move a little bit. It was not easy, and I didn't find it fun at all. So I have this frame here. I got this frame from Joann's. I do not recommend this um, frame mainly because when I went and used this, I had used this for some other diamond painting and I took it out at some point. When I had used this for some other diamond painting, I found that in the back, this thing here was not in the middle. So when I was pu putting it up, I was like, I was, ha I, was, I was getting confused because I was like, what's wrong? I have no idea why this doesn't look right and blah. And it was, it was like, there was nothing I could do to get it to be straight and I couldn't, I was confused. Um, and that was because it really, really, really was not straight. Like, you put this in the not middle, it, no matter what you do or how you hang it, it's not going to be straight. So that drove me crazy because it was not obvious. I wasn't like, I was like trying to figure, I was like, why does this look wrong? Am I, I thought it was my hanging apparatus. Nope, that thing was not straight. Once I realized that, I ended up putting this thing here. But it was still annoying that I had to figure that out. 
and I and I bought this when it was on sale. So and by the time I figured that out, it was several months later. So it was not like I could return it. Maybe I could have returned it, but I don't think I had the receipt anymore. Because several months later. So now it'll probably be harder to put it in because I have this <laughs> this rope thing. Man, is it slightly too big? But it shouldn't be. Just making sure it actually was right side up. Okay. In case I ever need a white background. There it is. I see a drill kind of lopsided at the top. Ugh. That's what I get for not sh um, sealing it. I might just leave it because I don't know if I want to have to open it again. But yeah, 
it'll bother me and then it won't bother me and then it'll bother me and then it won't bother me that's how I usually go when I do these things <laughs> all right so there it is framed unfortunately framing actually makes it harder to see on the camera all right that took a while that's all I have to, for today so thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting bye